If the fragmentation, transformation and rabid entrepreneurialism of the past 10 years is a guide, we should forget about predicting where will we, we be in 10 years' time. One month seems like a hellishly long time right now. Two years is industry altering. But here goes anyway. Digital journalism will dominate. Readers and viewers will pay for content that has unique value. Newsrooms will be smaller, more focused, more aware and responsive to audiences. So much information these days is fast. Time-stamped news breaks and updates, results and live feeds and tweets and t texts and teasers. It's there, it's gone. It's there, it's gone. Instant gratification. A decade on, a decade on, fast news will be even faster. Omnipresent. Delivered by newfangled technologies we can't yet imagine. They'll also be more tailored, personalised, aggregated, served up on a silver spoon, delivery of things that you like. But in 10 years, in my view, readers will still go looking for trusted, independent sources of information. The 18-year-olds year, 18 of 2022 will want analysis and commentary on political, economic and social development and trends. Now, newspapers are likely to be smaller and more targeted. And it's likely that they're going to be fewer mainstream media companies, more joint ventures and partnerships, more sharing, more curation and aggregation of segmented audiences. Generations raised on social media will be baffled when baby boomers, stick, still hooked on 70s music, reminisce about how news was gathered in the past. But they will see great merit in the new journalism with reporters communicating with lots of people simultaneously, conversing, connecting, collaborating, verifying, refining, and building stories well beyond their own reporting. And in all of this, in this new world, there'll still be time to dream about what journalism will be like beyond 2022. Thank you. Thank you very much, Paul.